Pork tenderloin is a simple but very elegant roasted piece of meat that I'm going to show you how to make a delicious herb crusted baked version today. And I've got my pork loin that's here in a baking dish and I've gone ahead and just kind of set that aside for now and we're going to go ahead and make the herb crust. And I have a quarter cup of olive oil here and we're going to be adding two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. I have the zest of one lemon, the same one I got my juice from. And I have one teaspoon of garlic powder, I have one teaspoon of onion powder, and I have one teaspoon of sea salt as well. And we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and whisk this and get this all combined. And now we're gonna start putting together our herb crust. And I have one bunch of parsley here and I've used my food processor to go ahead and chop that. And I have a quarter cup of fresh rosemary that I'm gonna go ahead and mix in there. And we have one tablespoon of fresh thyme. And you can just use a fork just to get this mixed. You don't need to overly mix it yet because we're about to put in our olive oil mixture. And this is gonna give the herbs kind of more of a paste-like texture. And then we're gonna go ahead and be able to put this on top of our pork. And so you don't want it to be too, too wet. You want this to be more kind of, you know, more of like an herb crust that we're gonna go ahead and put on there. And once that is combined, we can go ahead and start to spoon that or fork that <laughs> onto our meat here. And I like to kind of pour it on and then use the fork to press it. You can use a spoon as well, whatever you prefer. And don't worry if a little bit falls off to the side, it's gonna go ahead and bake and give extra flavor on the sides of the meat as well. So wherever it goes, as long as it's touching the meat, it's gonna infuse that with flavor and it is gonna be delicious. So that is it. Our pork is now crusted and we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven at 350 degrees. And you wanna cook it until the meat reaches an internal temperature of about 150 degrees, and then you can pull it out and let it rest. Usually around the 15 minute mark, I'll start to check it and then check it every five minutes to make sure you're not gonna overcook it. And our pork tenderloin is now out of the oven and ready to enjoy. I recommend serving it with a roasted vegetable, like a roasted carrot that I have on my blog, and you can also serve it with some sauteed greens. It goes perfectly, especially with that herb crust. So you can get this recipe on my website. It's thetrailtohealth.com, and you can also find other healthy and delicious recipes in my cookbook, Wandering Palette, which is available on my website and Amazon as well. Mm -hmm.